What's up everybody, I'm Jordan Weber and today we're going to go over a mobility routine program that you can go through each day at your house. So this is called Controlled Articular Rotations, uh, prescribed and taught by Dr. Andrea Ospina who gave me my functional range conditioning certification. And so we learned this daily uh, joint mobility program that I'm going to help teach you. And if you have any questions, just ask me after the video. I'm going to try to take you step by step. Um, I'm going to talk about using the law of irradiation, meaning that when we uh, perform all of these uh, rotations or all these exercises, that your whole body is irradiating. And what that means is that you're going to start with your core and you're going to irradiate out. So you're going to try to keep your core, you're going to try to inhale, hold the air into your stomach, try to keep everything tense, and then you're going to control that circle. So we're going to create circles with all of our joints today, and uh, I'm going to take you through it step by step. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the neck. Um, what we're going to do first, uh, you can stand or you can kneel during this. If you're kneeling, um, same thing when you're standing, you're going to intensify starting by taking an inhale, dropping the air low into the belly, and then you're going to irradiate from your belly to your limbs. So you're going to intensify starting at your uh, core region or your, thoracic or your uh, abdominal region thorax and then you're going to extend that irradiation or that intensity to all of your muscles in your body. You don't want to intensify to a hundred percent or you're really going for about 20 to 30 percent as you do this. So you're trying to maintain your posture, maintain your, um, your body control as you do this. So I wouldn't want to, if I was going like this, I would want to turn and open up my, my back. So I'd be turning my my shoulder forward. So for the neck, what we're going to do is I'm going to come a little bit closer. I'm going to start again. You can do this standing or you can do this kneeling. So if you're standing, feet are about um, shoulder width distance. It really, I'm not sure if it matters, but you definitely don't want to be standing with your feet together. So you're gripping the floor apart. So you're kind of trying to pull the part floor apart. You're going to squeeze your quads. You're going to intensify. Um, starting at the stomach and it's going to radiate down to the legs, to the arms, to the neck. And what we're going to do here to start is start by just bringing the chin down into the chest. And once we get here, we're going to start rotating to one of our shoulders, drawing a circle with our chin. From here we're going to laterally bend our neck toward that side and start going back, back and around, all the way back, all the way back, and then back to the other shoulder, rotating around, laterally bending, bending into that direction, to the side and down, all the way down, and completing one circle. Let's try that again. So, radiating through the whole body, starting with the chin in line with the sternum and dropping the chin down. Remember, you're trying to find as much range as possible. So, if you don't feel any pain, go further. If you do feel pain in a, a closing angle pinch, then you want to go around that pain. So, for example, if I felt a pinch on this side right here, then I might just not, I might not go around it as much, whereas this side I might have no pinch and I might be able to extend that rotation okay, in that area. So let's go ahead and try that for our second time. Starting by taking an inhale, trapping the air low, intensifying the irradiation to about 20 to 30 percent, dropping the chin down, rotating, Literally bend, back, back and around, all the way back, rotating to the other side, bending toward that side, going forward, and forward and down. Now we're going to try to go the other way. Go 
one more time in the opposite direction. And you might have seen my shoulders move or my back move or my hips move. Those are things I don't want to do. So I'll watch this video over and I'll look at the corrections I need to make for my next video. So that was the neck. Now we're going to go through the scapula or the bone, kind of the wing bone in your back. And so what we're going to do is place our hands next to our sides. Same thing, we're going to inhale, radiate. And what we're going to do here is first bring our hands all the way down. We're going to keep our elbows locked. Try not to bend our elbows. Try not to curl our hands. So try to keep your hands straight. Elbows locked. Don't let your hands or arms go away from your side body to start. So what we're going to start is take an inhale, radiate. Our shoulders are going to go down, down and forward, forward. So notice my neck is going forward. I don't want that. Okay, all the way up, all the way up, up and back, back and down. And then my hands are going to go all the way down into my pockets. Notice that I'm extending my back. I don't want to do that either. Let's try that again. Down. Down and forward. Forward and up. Up and back. All the way back. Back and down. All the way down. All the way down. Let's go the other direction. Down, down and back. Notice I'm protruding my head forward, all the way back, up. Notice I'm bending my hands and elbows, all the way up and forward, forward, forward and down. Hands go down into the pockets, reaching down. Let's try it one more time. Down and back. scapula and now what we're going to do is our shoulder okay so our shoulder we're going to flex rotate and extend extend rotate and extend here okay so flexion rotation extension rotation it's going to look just like that. So we're going to start by radiating. I'm going to start with my right hand, gripping the floor, inhaling, trapping the air into my belly. Posture is nice and correct here. I'm not leaning forward. I'm not going like this yet. I'm trying to stand still. Left fist, keeping everything nice and tight. So I'm going to flexion. First, I'm going to go down, down and forward. Forward. Forward and up. And once I get here, I begin to start extending my back. So eventually, I don't want to be able to do that. So flexing over the head, I want to try to clear my ears without moving any part of my body, like bring my head forward or extending my back. And once I get here, my elbow eye is facing my head. Now I want to turn that elbow eye away, and turn the hand away, externally rotating the shoulder all the way out. And then as I do that, I'm going to rotate all the way around, creating a circle with my hand. All the way back. All the way back. And then notice that the back of my hand ends up next to my side. My palm is facing out. Now that's just one half a rep. I'm going to extend my shoulder until I reach a blocking point. And then I'm going to rotate that arm all the way around. And then go all the way back to my hand, so my hand is overhead. And then I'm going to reach forward, and forward and down. Reaching forward. Forward and up. Once I 
I meet that, when I, once I hit that sticking point, I'm gonna externally rotate, actually rotate, sorry, extending the arm back. As I twist to the back of the hand, is next to the side at the end. Extend the shoulder, actually rotate, all the way back around, all the way up, up and forward, and forward and down. Go through that one more time. Start with extension, extension, actually rotate, cut the angle all the way around, reaching up, up and forward, forward and down. Good. You get that left side. Squeeze that right fist, radiate from the stomach, take an inhale. Intensify about 20-30% of the entire body as you do this. Try to control your head and neck. Try not to let your head and neck go forward. Try not to extend your back and try not to open up your hips and your chest as you make the circle. Flexion of that left shoulder, all the way up overhead until you hit the sticking point. Actually rotate, cut the angle, make as big a circle as you can. Notice I probably have a little bit more range on this left side, the back of the hand, next to the side. Same thing with the hands, trying to keep the hands and elbows straight, try not to bend anything here from here. Extend the shoulder, actually rotate, cut the angle all the way around. Notice that my head was going forward, reaching all the way up, up and forward, forward and down, and push it down. From here, reach forward, flex the left shoulder all the way, all the way up, overhead, actually rotate. Elbow eyes turning away from the body as you cut the angle. Try not to bring your shoulder back as you do that. Make big a circle as you can, back of the hand next to the body. Extend it the other way. Actually rotate, cut the angle all the way around, all the way up, up and forward, forward and down. And we'll and by extending one more time, actually rotate, cut the angle all the way around. Notice that my body is trying to open up, reaching up and forward, forward and down, and back to square one. Okay. Now we're going to go with our thoracic spine. So we're going to start by hugging the self just like this, and then we're going to round just the upper back so we're going to try to bring our chin down and round just the upper back down try not to bring your whole body forward you're just rounding the upper back we're going to go down making sure that before you do this that you're radiating you're not just loosely going in a circle here and what we're going to do is i'll demonstrate before i go over it but we're going to round the upper back down and then we're going to rotate to our side and then we're going to laterally bend. So we're going to try to go down into that area a little bit further and then we're going to extend the back back to neutral and then we're going to rotate to the other side, laterally bend and then come down and around all the way back to your starting position. So we're going to go ahead and try that. So radiating from the stomach to start intensifying your entire body. You're going to go ahead and curl down. Go ahead and rotate. Turn up and move your hips. Laterally bend. Extend back all the way back to neutral. And then when you get back to neutral, you're going to go ahead and rotate. Laterally bend. And down and forward. Let's go the other way. Rotate, bend, extend. Rotate, bend, all 
all the way down. Let's go the other way, rotate, bend, extend, rotate, bend, and go ahead and curl forward and come back to square one. That was your thoracic spine. Now we're going to work on our elbows and our wrists. So what we're going to do is bring our elbows next to our sides and we're not going to externally rotate the shoulders. We're going to keep our shoulders forward to start and then we're just going to externally rotate our forearms. Palms are facing up and what we're going to do is same thing, irradiate the body. Keep your hands out and straight and you're just going to flex the, the elbows. Pronate the elbows and then push down. Supinate, flex, pronate, extend. Supinate, flex, pronate, extend. Keeping your body tight. Supinate, flex, pronate, extend. Supinate, flex, pronate, extend. Let's go, ahead. Let's go the other way. Pronated, flex, supinate, extend. Pronate, flex, supinate, extend. And that was for your elbows. Now for your wrists, what we're going to do is start with extension of the wrist and this is flexion of the wrist what we're gonna do is we're gonna create circles here so we're gonna go out up in and down so extension out flexion and just like that so we're gonna keep our elbows in next to our sides palms are facing up we'll start by extending the wrist Radiate the body first. Body's nice and tight. Start going in and down. All the way in. In and up. Flexing the wrists. Up and out. Try not to let your elbows go out. Try not to bend your fingers. Out. Out and down. All the way down. Extend your wrists. All the way down and in all the way in, in and up, flexing your wrists, trying to keep your fingers straight, up and out, up and out, all the way out, out and down, all the way down, down and in, down and in, in, in and up, flexing the wrists, up and out, all the way out and all the way down good shake that out now what you can do is you can make a fist and do the same thing so making a fist we're gonna go in in and down in in and up 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 and out all the way out all the way down in, in and up, flexing the wrist, up and out, out, out and down, and you can kind of loosen those up a little bit. Okay, now we're going to go through the hips, knees, ankles, and then the toes. So for our hips, you can hold on to something, um, you can hold on to the wall. Uh, if you choose to or you can hold on to like a stick. So we're going to start with my right hip and the rotation is going to look like this. So I'm going to flex the hip, externally uh, rotate the hip, and then I'm going to extend the hip back and around. And then I'm going to extend the hip, abduct, and flex. And then start from scratch. All right. So I'll start by radiating through the stomach. And the reason why I'm holding on to 
the dowel is to create that stability. So I'm really not trying to practice my balance here. So there's no need to do that unless you're a more advanced learner. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to this dowel or you can use the wall or you can hold on to a post. Um, so I'm going to hold on to this. <clears throat> I'm going to irradiate through the stomach for my whole entire body. And then from here, making sure that this leg is straight. You're going to notice that you're going to want to bend it. You're going to want to move your hips. I have really tight hips, so you're going to see a lot of compensations here. So from here, I'm trying to keep my chin in line with my sternum, my belly button, all the time. So I want to try to keep my chin in line, like I said, with my sternum and my belly. I, I tend to kind of protrude my neck in most of these exercises or around my upper back. I want to try to keep my back nice and straight, my chin in line as I do this. So irradiating, irradiating from the stomach, squeezing this leg, okay, holding onto the stick, squeezing the fist, chin is nice and, and aligned. So I shouldn't be looking down at the camera, I should be look, just looking straight ahead. And that's for all the exercises that don't involve the head and neck. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and flex the right hip. Okay, you might be using your left hip, that's fine. And then what you're going to do is start to uh, abduct that hip out. And then from here, you're going to bring the knee down and ankle up. Once you get here, you're gonna wrap and rotate that leg all the way around. And notice that the knee is bent the whole entire time. So sometimes you'll go around and your leg will kind of be a little bit straight. You want to keep that knee bent and locked as you perform this movement. So if you need to, you can place a tennis ball behind your knee as you squeeze into these positions. That will ensure that your hamstring is uh, activated. Okay, so if your hamstring isn't activated, then you're actually not practicing the law of radiation. You're actually not going through this uh, with control. So if you want control, you have to irradiate the whole body, meaning that you can't just skip certain muscles because you think it's hard. So if you want to improve the mobility, it's, gonna, it's not going to feel good. So it might feel good to somebody who's trying to gain that mobility, but if you're new to this, you might say, oh, this doesn't feel good, I don't like this, and you might quit. So. Try not to quit, hold on to that stick or the wall, straighten the opposite leg that's not moving, radiate from the stomach, flex the hip, open it out or abduct it, knee down, ankle up, swing it around, extend the hip, keep the knee bent. Notice that I'm trying to move shift forward, I'm trying to keep everything nice and straight here. From here, extend the hip, abduct, and then all the way around to flexion. Flexion to abduction, abduction to extension, and then let's try it again. Bend the knee, extend the hip. Notice that I'm leaning forward, extend the hip, abduct, all the way to flexion. Let's try it again. Extension, Abduction, flexion. Let's go the other way. Flexion, abduction, all the way to extension. All right, let's try the left side. Pull it onto the stick. Start with the radiation from the stomach. Squeeze your left fist, pushing into that dowel. My supporting leg is straight. I'm not bending it. I'm going to start with the flexion of that left hip flexor and then I'm going to go out to abduction, abduction, bring the knee down, ankle up, all the way to extension, keeping that knee bent. From here, extension, abduction, all the way to flexion, flexion to abduction. Knee down, ankle up, wrap it around to extension. Let's try it again. So bend the knee, extend the hip back all the way, rotate it around, making a big circle with that knee, all the way to 
your starting point. Let's go the other way. Flexion, abduction, knee down, ankle up. As you rotate that hip around, one more time. Extension, abduction, abduction, flexion, and bring it down. Whew. Good. Now we're going to go to the knees and uh, we're going to start with the patella. So what you're going to do is I'm going to start with my right kneecap. I'm going to bend my left leg. I'm going to straighten my right leg. And when I do that, I should be relaxed in this quadricep. And what that's going to allow me to do is move my patella or my kneecap around in circles. So if you push it down, it'll go to um, 6 o'clock. If you push it up, it'll go to, or if you push it down, it'll go to 6. Push it up, it'll go to 12. And then you can go to 3 and 9 going sideways. And so what we're going to do is pretty much move that kneecap around in a slow circle. So slowly pushing that kneecap around. Okay. You can be gentle if you feel like there's sore spots or if you don't feel comfortable with this, you might have to um, relax this leg a little bit. So if this leg isn't relaxed, you can sit down and do this as well. But I'm doing everything standing in this video. So we're going to just rotate that patella or the kneecap. Okay. I'm going to go around that kneecap. And if there's any uh, sticking points or you can notice that um, sometimes the knee might not go in a certain direction more than the other. And these are all self-assessment. So you're self-assessing yourself. You can write notes down after each joint. So you can pause the video and you say, oh, okay, my right shoulder definitely tight in this area. And then you want to start using the law of specificity in that area. And we'll talk more in other videos on how to treat each, each joint, okay? So um, then what we're going to do is switch legs. Get my left kneecap. So this one you don't really have to radiate your whole body for. This might be the only one where you don't. So if I were to radiate, I wouldn't be able to move that kneecap. Good. All right, so now we're going to actually get the kneecap or the knee itself. So what we'll do is we're going to radiate and we're going to externally rotate the tibia. So that looks like this. So I'll start with my right leg. Okay. So what we'll do is, I'm going to lift it into the air, I'm going to rotate that foot out, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the knee, and then I'm going to internally rotate and extend the knee. So externally rotate the tibia, flex the knee all the way, internally rotate and extend the knee. Externally rotate just the tibia, try not to externally rotate the hip as well. Trying to isolate that. If you want, you can do this sitting, but we're trying to do everything standing in this video. So from here, if you need some balance, you can hold on. Again, externally rotate, bend the knee. Internally rotate, extend the knee. Externally rotate, bend the knee, like you're pushing away, you're, like you're scraping the floor away. And then internally rotate, push the ground away. Externally rotate, bend the knee, internally rotate, push
push the floor away. Let's go ahead and get to the left side. I'm going to bend the knee. First, externally rotate or radiate the body. Go ahead and bend the knee all the way in. Internally rotate, and then scrape the floor away. So externally rotate, bend the knee. Internally rotate, extend the knee. From here, externally rotate, bend the knee. Internally rotate, extend the knee. Okay, we're gonna try that on the ground. Um, I tend to do this typically on the ground, so I feel like I have a little bit more control um, of that knee when I do this. So I'll externally rotate it, tibia out, extend, turn the toe in, and down. So externally rotate, extend the knee, internally rotate, Flex the knee. Externally rotate. Extend. Internally rotate. Flex. Now you can go the other way. Flex. Externally rotate. Flex, sorry. Internally rotate. Extend. Externally rotate. Flex. Let's get the other side. Externally rotate. Extend, internally rotate, flex. External, extend, internal, flex. And go the other way. Internal rotate, extend, externally rotate, and flex. Internally rotate, extend, externally rotate, and flex. Good. All right, now we're gonna get our toes or our ankles. So <clears throat> using that same premise, I'm gonna hold on here. We're gonna skip to the floor. I'm not gonna do the standing. We're gonna gas pedal the foot down. So you're gonna be pushing that toe all the way down as much as you can. And you go down to the right or down to the outside. All the way outside, all the way outside and up. And then all the way up, up and in, in and down. All the way down, down and outside, all the way to the outside, outside and up, all the way up, up and in, all the way in, in and down, all the way down. Let me show you a different view. So down, down and in, in, in and up, up and out, all the way out. All the way out and down, all the way down, let's go the other way, down and out, out and up, all the way up, up and in, in and down, all the way down. Let's try my left side, switch sides, so all the way down, down and out, all the way out, out and up, all the way up, up and in, in. In and down, all the way down. Down and out, all the way out and up, all the way up, up and in, in, in and down, all the way down. Let's go the other way. All the way down, down and in, trying to radiate the whole body. In, in and up, up and out, all the way out. All the way out and down, all the way down. In, in and up, all the way up, up and out, out and down, all the way down. Good. All right, now let's get our toes. So we'll start with all 10 toes off the ground. So it'll look like this. So you bring all your toes up off the ground, hold here. I like to try to separate or abduct my toes as I'm here. And then what we're going to do 
is we're just going to put our toes on the ground and we're going to try to keep all of our smaller toes up off the ground. You're going to notice that some are still bending, some are, are still controlled by the big toe and we're trying to separate that control. And then from here, you're going to hold it. Trying to keep these toes up if you can. And then go ahead and switch. Now we're going to put all eight small toes down and the big toes up only. Try to really extend that toe as much as you can. Just like that. And then switch. So big toes down, small toes up. Notice that this toe wants to stay bent. I'm going to try to keep that straight. And relax. Go ahead and switch. So big toes up, eight toes down. And then from here, what we're going to do is all ten toes up. And then like the piano, we're going to go from pinky all the way to big toe. And then up. So pinky all the way to the big toe. Try it again. All toes up. Pinky down first. And then slowly all the way to the big toe. And then one more here. All toes are up. And then you're just going to try to tap your big toe to the ground. Just your big toe. Let's see if you can do that five times. Good. Then you can practice abducting your toes. So trying to separate your toes just like this. You notice that I don't have a lot of control with my toes when I try to abduct them just like that. Notice that I can't abduct in between these two. So what I can do is I can try to passively stretch that abduction and then I can try to um, progressively try to improve that activation by using tails and rails. So you can do any type of uh, mobility exercise for any joint. Um, so that's that'll be discussed in a different video. But you can abduct and then adduct. Just to, abduct is trying to separate the toes and adduct is trying to bring the closed toes together. So you can practice abducting and adducting the toes and that's going to help you create more mobility in your feet. Um, so we just went over the uh, the head, the neck, sorry, the scapula, the thoracic spine, glenohumeral joint, the shoulder, elbow, wrists. Uh, then we went into the hips. Then we went into the uh, the kneecap itself. Then the knee, and then the ankle. Uh, and then the toes. So we went over 11 different joints today. Those are the 11 joints that I've been going through for the past two weeks. Um, so hopefully this uh, video has guided you. And so you, you might not take 40 minutes to get this done. So the more you remember the cues, the law of radiation, the more you remember the terminology of rotating, wrapping, making those circles without moving forward, the better you're going to do in the long run. So Try this every single day, even if it's for five to 10 minutes. Try to take your time though. I think a good amount of time is about 10, 15 minutes. But if you don't have a lot of time, it's still good to go through these exercises to see where your joints are at. All right, so if you have any questions, just comment. And uh, I'll try to address each comment. So if you're like, oh, you know, my, my knee really aches when I do that, or my elbow, or my shoulder, then I can start teaching you some uh, corrective exercises to try to improve the mobility in those uh, joints. If you like this, make sure that you like it, uh, subscribe, and make sure you share it. Thanks a lot.